so um, when we did the previous, we, we talked about inputs and we I showed you how to hook up a button and I left out some things and hopefully did it and, and gave it a try. And what you might have noticed is when you are reading the serial monitor on um, the Arduino um, create, it should have looked like the um, the value that you're reading from the button was reading as if it was pressed even when it wasn't or at least would kind of like temporarily read those press and then change and the reason why is you could think of it like um, when you build up a charge okay so when something builds up a charge that charge stays there until you give it a path to leave and so if you press a button so if I connect this pin to 5 volts and I, I press the button to make that connection when I'm done with that connection unless I give a place for the built up charge here a path to to go and to drain essentially and to um, return to the ground volt the ground level um, it's going to stay there and it's going to continue to measure at that level and so when you press this button it says five and it'll stay five and it might randomly drop back down to zero okay that's not really a behavior that we want and and I've got it coded here and the simulation doesn't quite simulate it well it just shows up as if it was always um, being pressed. So I have um, gone ahead and, and written some code here so we can see this. And so I have two buttons and I've got them labeled separately. But and I've got them actually one connected to negative and one connected to, to five volt. But you can see that when I press the button here, nothing happens. Okay. And so this button here is connected to five volts. But you can see that this wire here connected to pin eight is um let's talk about that one right here it's reading one whether i press it or not okay because it's connected to five volts even though it's on the other side okay and and essentially the way that i have i have to solve this problem is to give it a path to return to ground to kind of drain that built up charge so that it, it can return to zero okay and it's actually a really simple thing to do we use a pull up or pull down resistor okay and so for this one where I'm connected to 5 volts on the side where the um, this connection is I add a resistor here and it'll be a 10 kilo ohm resistor okay is what we'll be using and what this does is it gives that a path to go to ground now 10 kilo ohms is a pretty high resistance so when that button's pressed it doesn't even really notice it's there um, but in the meantime it can again allow that um, voltage to kind of be released and so this one I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to pull this one up to 5 volts when the button's not pressed okay so here we have a pull down resistor so when this button's not pressed we're pulling the voltage down to zero we have a pull up resistor here so that when this button is not pressed it's pulling the voltage up to 5 and so if I look at my code here I run that code and you can see these values flip okay and if I press this button you see this button goes to high when I let go it pulls back down to zero for this one here it's at high it's pulled to high when I press the button it goes down to zero when I let go it immediately goes back up to um, to one okay and so this is the behavior that I want and you can see that I have kind of two options here I can pull it um, I can have a button that reads high when pressed or read, reads high when pressed and then is in the intermediate pulled down to low like this. I can have a button that reads low when pressed and then the intermediate is pulled up to high like that. Okay. And then just one other note here. You'll notice that um, when in the code here, I took a little bit of a different approach. And so in the example, I said you can make like a variable. Um, there's actually a couple of things that you might notice that are different here. So in the example, I said you can make a variable um, like button status for example and set that equal to digital read and then the pin number um, and then we could put the button status here like that um, but to kind of can save some space and to make things just a little more efficient, I can, I can really just take this and I can just put it right here because what happens is this function 
returns the value that it gets from reading that and it's going to just replace whatever the function is it's going to replace it with that value so if this function is reading high it's going to replace it like that if it's um reading low it's just going to replace it like that okay and so this is another way to do it you don't have to do it this way i can see why this way might be a little bit more confusing but this is like um it makes the code a little bit more condensed um, but it, it is a trade-off in making it less um, readable or understandable potentially okay the one other thing I'll mention is you can see look at all the stuff that I had just on one line of the serial monitor right I had a whole message here and it can be helpful to make a debug message like that when you're trying to um, figure out what the sensor is saying or what the button saying and so the way I did that is I just have a serial print I actually have four serial prints but only one of them has the LN which registers the new line and sends it down to the next line. Okay, and so I put like the first part of my message, you'll see it's got a little space after it to give it a gap between that and the number. And then um, I've got another seal print here. I've got some extra spaces in the beginning to give myself a gap here. And then I put um, have the colon and a space after, and then I put the number and I put the LN here so I get the new line for the next time around. And you can see this is just a useful way to to structure, I guess, the, the, the data coming in so it's easier for you to read or understand. Okay, so go ahead and try this out. Try wearing that button with a pull down or a pull up. Really, the pull down, I think, probably is what you want to try. Um, and, um, and, and get it to work the way you would expect it.